Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. And this reading will also be uploaded to my second tarot channel, Chelsea Tarot 2.0. For those of you who like to book a personal reading with me, my email address is in the description box below. And today is the 18th of February 2023. Time here in Canberra, Australia is 11... 11 13 a.m all right sag let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me important love messages that sagittarius need to hear today Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Hmm. Sag, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. So there's a um, page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Could also be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Can be any sign. I feel like with the Seven of Wands, this is your energy, right? This is fire. And the same goes to the Nine of Wands here. I feel like there is someone you may have blocked or you may have stopped talking to them or giving them silent treatment with the Moon here, Ten of Swords in one verse. Trying to release. There's someone you're trying to release from. Um, I feel like... If there's somebody that you've been trying to release, whom hasn't been talking to you or you haven't been talking to this person, because the moon indicates, again, silence, uncertainties, doubt, fear. I think this person, with the page of pentacles, four pentacles, is still holding on to you, okay? Very strong earth sign uh, i'm seeing here earth energy virgo capcono taurus and we've got the king of pentacles in love first perhaps this person wants to apologize to you six of cups wanting to see you again wanting to apologize to you still holding on to you but either they're unsure about whether they should actually apologize to you reach out to you or it could be them feeling unsure if you would reciprocate, if you will be open to what they've got to say to you. It could be an apology, it could be anything, but this person may want to apologize to you because of them being the king of pentacles in love for some, somebody unreliable or somebody who doesn't have money or unstable in some way, shape or form. It could be related to money, may not always mean that, but it could also be an indication of somebody who's just not reliable not stable and just not um or it could be not faithful it could be any of these things but the hangman here in reverse i see somebody here is or oh, this person again it could go vice versa it could roles could be reversed but it kind of makes me feel like this person is seeing things in a different perspective and may want to speak with you but you may be resisting this person resisting speaking to this person because you could be going through a healing and recovery journey and the nine of swords here feels like maybe this person has given you a lot of stress caused you a lot of pain maybe this person has hurt you terribly in the past because ten of swords it feels like a sense of that was like a sense of betrayal um you know you the ten of swords is a very painful energy so i feel like this person has caused a lot of pain because We've got 10 swords so all the way through, right? This person hurt you the most. Perhaps it's somebody who has hurt you the most in the past. And then the moon here. This person is contemplating, right? Whether they should speak with you because page is the messenger. This person may want to speak with you, but four pentacles. I'm unsure whether they should open up to you. 
Maybe this is also their energy with the Nine of Swords, where they have been thinking a lot about you. The World in Reverse definitely hasn't completely moved on from you. I think this person misses you as well with the Six of Cups. Unless such, unless this is you, okay? Sorry, I'm like, I'm not sure if you can hear it when I speak. I'm trembling a little bit because I just had a lot of coffee. <laughs> This is what, what it does to me. My hands start to shake a little bit. And yeah. And when I speak, I tremble a little bit. But Seven of Wands here. It feels like maybe this is somebody. Again, that you're trying to protect yourself from, right? This person has caused you a lot of pain, stress, insomnia, paranoia even. You know, the Nine of Wands here. This is someone you are pretty much guarded. Because they have hurt you before in the past. So I wouldn't say 100% that this person will reach out. But I do sense this person wanting to reach out, okay? There is an intention to reaching out to you. But the Four of Pentacles and the Moon, these two cards here indicates they're not sure if they should or shouldn't, okay? And they're not ready to open up yet completely. But the Page of Pentacles makes me feel like the intention is there. They want to. But it's blocked by the moon here blocked by could be doubts insecurities fear uncertainties or pentacles here unable to open up but truly this person misses you with the six of cups and then a cups here more first makes me feel that this person doesn't feel contented is not happy right now with their life um hmm. could be a pisces cancer or a scorpio very guarded uh, it could be them also guarded afraid to reach out to you afraid to return to you even though they're not too happy with their life right now. I see that this person may not be fully contented in terms of... Maybe this person thought that they would do okay without you. But I don't think so. So this person isn't doing okay without you. And it makes me feel like it is this person more so than you. Because there is a lot of uh, earth, a lot of water energy here, a lot of air energy here while this is you right you are fire energy so it's seven of wands and the nine of wands so you are more protective of yourself um you could be standing your ground you could be defensive or defending yourself from this person protecting yourself from this person maybe because this person has hurt you before in the past unless this person also has fire somewhere in the chart then roles can be reversed okay so let's see more of cups this person loves you but they're not telling you eight of wands here love for six of swords it makes me feel like this person really wants to move on uh or trying to move on but find themselves returning with their thoughts every time with the knight of swords here so this person could be a libra gemini or an aquarius or this could be somebody where you are holding a lot of grudges towards that you could still be upset with them with this person for making promises about the future with the Ten of Cups but did not fulfill it. Something may have happened. An Eight of Pentacles here is in one verse four of swords. This person thinks about you a lot. Eight of Cups here in one verse. I feel like this person can't even focus on their work, constantly thinking about you. But also this can be an occasion of both of you taking a break from each other or could be separated. I feel like maybe this person isn't feeling too well right now. Could literally be mentally, emotionally, physically. They could be taking some days off, time off from work. Hence, their energy right now is very strong um, in your reading. Maybe because this person has been thinking a lot about you. Maybe because they're not working right now or, or that they're taking some time off from work or they could be sick. So a lot of um time <laughs> a lot of time you know how they say an idle mind is a devil's playground so i feel like this person may have a lot of time on their hand so they keep thinking about you <laughs> thinking about the future thinking about what happened between two of you thinking about how things could how would it be if both of you were to actually see each other again meet each other again when both of you do, if there has been plan, 
if there has been a plan for that. If not, it could just be like imagination, ten of cups. Imagining a reconciliation, imagining a future together. But another message I'm seeing here, Sag, for those of you who are single, not a source is a very fast energy, right? If you're single, ten of cups. This is a very weird um, message, Sag. <laughs> this is a very weird message for those of you who are single. And you've been, if you have always wanted a connection that is long-lasting, happily ever after, you've been dreaming about that, thinking about that, or trying to manifest it, it feels like it's going to happen pretty soon with Nine of Swords because it's a very fast energy. But with one condition though, releasing someone from your past, releasing that energy. If you've been still hung up on somebody from your past, perhaps releasing that, moving forward, it could happen sooner than later, okay? To meet someone where you could be happy long-term. Six of Cups, yeah, could be a soulmate connection. All right, Saj, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings if you like to book me. My information is in the description box below. Please don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels. One is uh, my second latest new channel, Tarot, Tarot channel. I actually have three channels. One is, another one is a vlog, a travel vlog, but um, there's a new one, Chelsea Tarot 2.0, which I'm going to be uploading this reading onto that channel as well. On that channel, I will only upload... Um, individual sign readings, okay? And on Chelsea Left Tarot, which is my original channel, I'll be uploading everything. Um, I'll be posting individual sign readings, collective readings, different questions, different topics, whatever I feel inspired to read, okay? So take care, Satch. I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.